Uh, our lab is interested in understanding how the brain processes sensory information. And in particular, we study uh, olfaction, the sense of smell. And uh, we study smell because I think if you're interested in sensory processing in the brain, uh, olfaction is a great model because it presents, I think, a uniquely difficult kind of problem to the brain in terms of uh, information processing. So, for example, um, animals, uh, including humans, can detect and, and learn to identify a huge range of different odor molecules on the order of thousands of different odor molecules. And they vary really widely in their chemical structure. They're not organized in any sort of orderly spectrum of energies, the way light and sound are, for example. They often appear as complex mixtures, and we can still recognize them as individual objects. They really vary widely uh, over space and time. And, and so these are all features that are unique to olfaction, or they're not really so, pr so present in uh, other modalities, for example, uh, vision and touch. So um, our goal is to understand how the brain solves this problem, um, and we think that by uh, understanding that, we can get some really unique insights into how the brain solves other kinds of complex information processing problems. So one of the projects in the lab is to understand how, how higher centers in the brain are engaged during attention. So for example, uh, if you have a glass of wine and you're about to drink it and you you know, take a take a whiff of that wine. You know, the, the, you're engaging these attentional centers, and and those are really modulating how you process olfactory information. Um, and so we're interested in what those neural pathways are, um, when they're engaged during other kinds of behaviors, and how specifically they're affecting the processing of olfactory information at at early stages in the pathway. Well, you know, what's been really attractive to me about uh, coming to Utah and 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 to the U here. It's just really the breadth of possibilities at a lot of different levels for uh, interaction and, and for moving our work forward in directions that we wouldn't have otherwise. Um, you know, there, there are great uh, collaborators here um, in a lot of different areas from, from molecular and genetic tool development to uh, systems neuroscience to um, bioengineering kinds of solutions to a lot of the problems that we're interested in. Um, and, you know, in addition, uh, with the USTAR program that I've involved with, that really encourages us and, and facilitates our move toward more uh, applied work and, and moving what we're doing in the brain into real-world applications. And um, it's great to have that opportunity.